Bearded CB82 here, and today we're going to go a little bit over ignition coils, extensions, and spark plugs here real quick. You've got a couple different spark plugs you can choose from. Denso Iridium Savers part number 6128 or Cummins 4309391. Biggest difference between those two, this one is a three prong top end for your ignition, and they do not come with uh, these, it's called a boot. The boots for the spark plugs, this little bitty rubber piece right here, is what installs over the spark plug to form a secure, tight fit around the spark plug. So these are brand new. Four in this pack, one in this pack. This one comes with the boot. Now, real quick, on the ignition coils and extensions, which you should check with a good multimeter whenever you pull these out, this is a brand new one, so I know it's good, is checking resistance, continuity. So, form continuity check on these guys, give them a good visual inspection, make sure that they're tight, screwed tight up against the lips. And you should have a pretty clean continuity and just the extensions. You should have less than 10 ohms. Anything over 10 ohms is considered an open circuit and should be replaced. This is new style, new tip. Here's the old style, original factory. And one thing that will set this off is all that right there. End of it went bad. So that's one real easy telltale way when you pull these apart when you're doing spark plugs. If it's bad, you got all this, means it's been cross-arcing through the boot, through the extension. Just replace it, don't even ask. And six pack, six of these, one per each cylinder per spark plug. Quick little thing, you do a contact continuity check on these guys. One pin here, the other one, pin C. See if you can see in there, there's four little pins. You'll do pin C, which is A, B, C, and D in that order. And you'll have anywhere between four point whatever to five point whatever kilo ohms. And continuity between all six should be fairly close. For instance, if you get 4.34 kilo ohms on one, all the rest might be between, you know, 4.37, 4.4. You have any significant difference say you get one that's 4.2 and all the rest are 4.2 but you get one that's say 4.7 pull it apart check this and check your extension you got a clean extension you just might have a coil that just runs a little higher on the resistance but they should all be somewhat fairly close anyways that's our tip for the day oh and spark plugs you need to clean off the ceramic with them prior to installation with alcohol and use a magnetic spark plug socket 5 8 that's also been cleaned out with either brake clean and then blown out with shop air or rag that you use using alcohol to clean off the ceramic on the spark plugs give that a really good wipe down especially if you only have one particular socket that you use specific specifically for installation shop tip for the day enjoy